Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are in the world. For those of you who are new here, of course, you're most welcome. My name is Matty. I'm a male model, physiotherapist, and fitness enthusiast. And in today's video, because I've had quite a few requests, I'm going to be doing a full day of eating vlog. And for those of you who've been watching my previous videos, you'll know that I did a cut about five or six weeks ago and I got pretty shredded, I got pretty diced. Unfortunately though, I've been going to a few different new restaurants and enjoying life a little bit too much. As a result, I probably wasn't as strict or on point with my diet, I probably overate a little bit, and I definitely overestimated my maintenance calories. I might have just lost a little bit of definition. So I decided off the bat that I was gonna do a short four week mini cut. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Pretty much immediately after waking up, I like to go and drink one to two glasses of filtered water. I normally put a few sprinkles of pink Himalayan salt, but unfortunately we didn't have any in the cupboards, we've run out. So I put a few drops of lemon juice in and chugged that down. Overnight, we don't consume any fluids and we're losing water to our environment through breathing out through our skin. So it's really important to hydrate yourself. And quite often we'll feel hungry when actually we're thirsty. After drinking this water, I then get myself ready. So I'll go to the bathroom, I'll wash my face, brush my teeth for my daily morning skincare. And then I'll go for a little walk to get some sunlight exposure. I shouldn't really say sunlight exposure because there's hardly any sun today. It's pretty cloudy here in England. Just getting daylight exposure is enough. And this daylight exposure is really important for setting off a lot of your biological cellular processes in the body. Things like cortisol are released early in the morning, which is fine as long as it's released early in the morning. And you've got these catecholamines, which are released as well, which make you feel more alert. Some of the more eagle-eyed among you will notice that I haven't actually eaten anything today. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm an advocate of intermittent fasting. This is where you essentially skip breakfast or push your first meal to four to five hours after waking up. After about an hour and a half of being awake, I'll have my first dose of caffeine. So I don't know if you guys can see, I don't want to tip the drink out, but I've got some coffee in here. Normally it's black coffee, but today I put a dash of oat milk in. The oat milk makes it taste a little bit nicer. And coffee helps blunt my appetite a little bit, so I'm not thinking about food for the next couple of hours. I don't have to think about food. But because of how I've associated coffee with doing work, it makes me more productive as well as more alert, more focused, improves cognition. There are so many benefits to coffee. I'm about an hour into productive work. My coffee is getting a bit cold, so I'll probably have to go and microwave it in a bit. But I've been working really hard for the past couple of weeks on a lot of projects, which is my ebook, How to Build an Aesthetic Physique and Minimalistic Approach. You can look like a, a male model by a male model, lol. Essentially, the premise of the program is that you only have to train twice a week. You train the key muscle groups and you build an aesthetic body, working hard, but working smart. Quite often, a lot of trainers will give you a program and you have to be in the gym four times a week, which is great if you have the time and you love being in the gym, but if you don't actually enjoy working out, but you want the maximum gains, then there is a way to do that. And if you look at my earlier videos on my channel, I have made quite a few of them on this topic, how to build an aesthetic physique with two workouts a week and with the exercises that you want to be doing. This is essentially putting that all together. So if you don't want to watch all those videos and put them together yourself, you can get them already put together with video tutorials on my ebook, which will be on Etsy. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Time is now 12 p.m. and it's time for my first meal. Let me show you guys what I've got. This is what we've got. Two roast chicken thighs that I've deboned myself. It's got the skin on, so I've got two little venison coftas, four pieces, but it is it is two pieces, but I've just cut them into halves. A hundred grams of basmati rice and about three quarters of a container of this tabula salad from Waitrose. Total calories for that meal, 822. 
and I'll do a full breakdown of my calories and macronutrients, so protein, carbs, and fats at the end of the day. It's better to have a meal that's higher in protein, moderate in fats, and lower in carbohydrates earlier in the day because then you have more carbohydrates to eat after your workout or later on in the evening. Eating carbs in the evening is a little bit better than eating them earlier on in the day. There's a bit of research to suggest why, and if you're interested in why, I've made a video on it, so you can go and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. I've finished my lunch, and I'm now out on a little walk because it improves digestion and nutrient partitioning. And if I don't go for a walk after lunch, then I end up feeling really tired in the afternoon. I'm back from my walk and I'm just having another coffee right now to kind of ease me into another work sesh to try and be productive. So it's about 4pm now and I'm having my next meal. Ideally I would have eaten at about 3.30pm so it's not really a huge deal but I got so engrossed in my ebook and I'm virtually finished now so that's good news. Anyway let me show you what I've got for my second meal. This is the pre-workout meal and it's a dieting go-to. I make my own muffins at home. It's like a McMuffin but no cheese because I'm slightly dairy intolerant. I've got two bacon rashers and two egg whites that I've been cut in half. So it's one in each muffin and these Warburton muffins are very very nice. They're just as good as the ones from McDonald's and I've got an apple. Total calories for meal three. I don't know if you can see. 446. Let's do a bit of a taste test. It's pretty good, even if I do say so myself. That is that. I have just completed my ebook. I've spent hours and hours, days and days, weeks and weeks. It's done. All it's, I've done it on Canva, so it's taken a little while, but all 49 pages of it setting a goal working your ass off to get there but then once you're there you can just breathe for a second for a moment and then i'll probably start with another ebook but right now i've got to finish kind of the last touches and things so everything's done all the content's done i just have to check it get someone else to check it proofread it by the time this video is uploaded you should be able to get this ebook Hello. I just finished my workout and I'm trying to give you guys a good physique update. I don't know if the lighting is any good in here. The time has come for me to have my dinner. And because I practice intermittent fasting, because I save most of my calories for the evening, it does make it more enjoyable. Dieting isn't easy, but through intermittent fasting, I've made it easier, or at least more sustainable in the long run. What I have here is very delicious linguine marinara which i actually cheated i actually ordered it from a restaurant so you can you can eat these restaurant dishes just bear in mind that the protein is going to be lower the fats are going to be higher so i tracked accordingly so i've got that i added extra pasta because they're never normally that generous with pasta portions uh, and there's always extra sauce so i added that in I also gave some pieces of vegetables, so broccoli, carrot, which I'm not going to track. Got mussels, squid, prawns in there, looks good. And then I've got an assortment, three little dumplings and some chicken wings for extra protein. And we're going to eat that. Just a little update, I have completely finished my ebook. Boom, done, ready to go on to Etsy. And it's even got, look, the video links to your boy's YouTube channel. Where, um, Ensure the bar is at the appropriate height. I mean, height. come on. Right, so dinner is done. I'm finishing it off with a little green juice to get some extra greens in. 
and I have about half of this, which is about 200 calories. So I totally forgot to actually tell you guys how many calories I just ate for dinner. It was a lot of calories. 1,926, including this. That brings the total calorie allowance to, drum roll please, 3,331 calories today. Bearing in mind, I've done two hours of strength training and about 10,000 steps. So it's around about 900 calories added from exercise. And I'm still in a 500 calorie caloric deficit. And for you guys who are interested, 173 grams of protein, 112 grams of fat, and 399 grams of carbohydrates. The fat was a little high, but it is what it is. This is what I eat to get shredded or to stay shredded but in this case it is to get shredded monday and thursdays are my two days off from my regular hospital job at the moment because i need to keep them free for castings and like model work so i use them at the moment to do my youtube and any sort of side hustles and then if i have castings i can go to them just trying to make it in the modeling world you know i guess like share subscribe all that kind of stuff that everyone says and i'll catch you guys in the next one I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.